So guys, so guys, so guys, so guys, so guys, if you guys remember back in July of 2022, this man GG Jackson announced to the media that he was actually going to be reclassifying up to that 2022 class and graduate early away from the 23 class to enroll at South Carolina University to start his college basketball career early to potentially get drafted in the 2023 NBA draft. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I literally remember when this man, Gigi Jackson, announced that he was going to be reclassifying up. There was so many mixed opinions about this decision. A lot of people actually thought that he was getting just a little too ahead of himself. And the fact that he had already decommitted from North Carolina, there was just a lot of drama going on surrounding Gigi Jackson's name at that specific time. But I guess he wanted to stay in his home state. I guess Gigi Jackson saw the vision. He understand the type of situation that he was putting himself in. Guys, looking now, I mean, it looks like things are definitely working out. Back in high school, I'm not gonna lie, I actually felt like Gigi Jackson was definitely a raw prospect whenever he was originally heading into his senior year of high school. And from what I saw, like I said, I actually think he was a pretty amazing basketball player. The fact that he was averaging over 20 and 10 rebounds a game and also on the Gatorade player of the year in his state, I promise he's definitely impressive. And I'm not gonna lie, this one potentially could be a hot take, but he definitely, I'm not gonna lie, he definitely had potential to be the new number one player in the country in that 23 class if he had stayed over gg jackson what do you guys actually think about that do you guys actually think that um gg jackson would have stayed within the top three in that 23 class or do you think he would have overtook dj and remained at the number one player regardless like i said gg jackson is out of there and he's currently playing at south carolina and even on the side note i actually feel like he was one of the only players in that class maybe like a justin edwards sean stewart there's a couple guys that probably could have also reclassified up and probably would have had good season if they had started their college basketball early but nonetheless this video is about gg jackson now like i said i personally feel like gg jackson definitely made the right choice i feel like we can all agree that gg jackson has been killing the entire league entire college basketball right now averaging 16 points and seven rebounds on 43 percent shooting from the field and 37 from three he's just a player that you just have to watch in person or watch in a full game setting to understand just why the potential is real. I understand that his team is not good. South Carolina, they're the last team in their conference right now. Their most notable win was against Clemson where he dropped 12 points and eight rebounds. And I definitely feel like he looks solid. Gigi's just a guy that can just do everything well on the floor. He's a guy that can score well, no matter where he's at on the floor. He understands how to box out. He understands how and when to play with energy to get rebounds. He understands how to use his size to his advantage and to put himself in positions to solidify spots on the floor. Defensively, he's a good rebounder and rim protector. The fact that he's leading his team in blocks and he also averages a steal a game. I'm telling you, Gigi Jackson, the potential that this kid has is honestly amazing. I will admit, he still does make some freshman mistakes, you know, taking some ill-advised shots, taking a lot of heat check shots. I definitely feel like whenever he does play out of his character, that is whenever we can see the young type of player that Gigi Jackson is. But guys, the man is 17 years old. It's gonna happen. But people don't realize that South Carolina is actually playing through Gigi Jackson. The offense runs through him. The kid is 17. Most teams are not gonna do that. They're just not. But the fact that they trust the guy like a Gigi Jackson, that should really tell you that this kid is definitely going to be something special in the future. His own coach, Lamont Paris, said himself that people don't realize what this man has to go through as a 17 year old. He's really supposed to be picking out what outfit he's gonna be wearing at prom, but he's playing for us, scoring the ball and rebounding and doing what he needs to do. Guys, I'm telling you, I honestly could not agree any more myself i definitely feel like gg jackson is going to be phenomenal and special in the future he's projected to go somewhere in the first round as i'm recording this video and like i said i think he made the right choice to leave high school early and play and develop his game in college guys i'm excited to see how well he finishes during the rest of the season i want to know your overall opinions on this decision do you think gg jackson made the right choice do you think he's one of the best players in college basketball let me know down below and let's get a great basketball conversation started guys if you meant to then i appreciate you watching this video why are you watching this video and you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel it literally takes two seconds if you enjoy high school basketball content college all that we're having good basketball conversations follow me on instagram do all that fun stuff guys and with all that being said guys Thank you for watching this episode of Juice Made TV. Peace.